Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Blue Velvet. I haven't heard anything about this one. This is also another film I just don't know quite much about. I think this started to be recommended way back in the beginning stages of this channel when I did my first reaction to Mulholland or Mulholland, I think it's called, <laughs> um, Mulholland Drive. And, um, I, you know, really, I really dug that story. I really did. And yeah, I think Blue Velvet started popping up like crazy in the comments. And I think it's because it's by the same director, David Lynch. And um, yeah, however, Blue Velvet, it won on the Patreon poll. This one, from my knowledge, from what either the Patreon people have said or even just like the community regarding the film, there's like a lot of mixed reviews about it. And um, not to say that I'm going to be going in there, you know, with, you know, that sort of awareness of it or anything like that. I like to go in as blind as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, I mean, that just brings up the conversation again, saying, hey, guys, you know, I know that this film can be quite controversial in a way. Um, so, you know, regarding people's opinions or conversations about this film, please keep it uh, at the foundation of respect. You know, again, I'm not going to have unwarranted disrespect going on in the comments. I think we all have incredible things to say about this film as long as it's, you know, comes from a good place. And if it doesn't, then like there will be no tolerance for that. So, yeah, I just wanted to like, let you guys know that. Um, but I'm going to be kind of judging this film and kind of just like reacting and commentating um, this film from a viewpoint of someone who hasn't heard a thing about it. And also, and, you know, really intrigued about filmmaking and everything like that. So, guys, I'm just like letting you guys know as well. This is a two hour movie. So if you want to see and hear everything that I have to say about this film, or you missed out on a reaction that I didn't put into the YouTube edit, definitely check out the Patreon link below if you are interested. There you'll be able to kind of, um, yeah, like sync up your own copy of Blue Velvet and put it against mine and watch literally all the things that I have to say or hear to this film. So if that's something that you're like, hmm, yeah, that sounds great. I would love to definitely check out the Patreon link. But like always, guys, I just want to say thank you for the support. And um, yeah, I'm just really grateful to have you guys in this community. So without further ado, let me stop talking. You know the drill. Let's hop right into Blue Velvet. Again, guys, I'm going to say this again, just in case if you guys need to hear it again. <laughs> um, if you want to hear and listen to everything that I have to say um, or see in this film, uh, definitely check out the uncut versions and the Patreon link below. But other than that, let's enjoy. Wow, I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what? Did something nick his neck? Alright. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was interesting. I love how that was being shot, though, through the grass. I don't know. Something unique like that is really intriguing to me. But that was Musical definitely weird. <laughs> At the sound of the falling tree, it's 9.30. Hey, it's my man. He's from uh, Portlandia. He's probably from a lot of things, actually, but I recognize him from Portlandia. God damn, what happened? Oh my god. <laughs> What what did that to him? Jesus, that's depressing. This is already just blowing my um my expectations away. <laughs> I is this like a horror film? Like that's crazy. You just got an ear just hanging in the fields, man. Just like any good Samaritan would, you know, you see an ear on the ground, you pick it up, and you put it in a brown paper bag so you can do whatever you want with it. Just like any good normal Samaritan. Hello, my 
My name is Jeffrey Bulmer. I am tripping, guys. I am I am tripping so much right now from this. <laughs> Emerge from darkness. It's a little terrifying. I love how like she she said that line um off screen. I thought that was a really neat detail to kind of had. Real close to your house. It's also close to the field where you found the year. It's a strange world, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know where this woman's apartment? Hmm. It's interesting that they're showcasing like. You know, all these other camera angles that are not on them. You know, like little blips of like the trees, little blips of the darkness and the, the street. It just kind of feels like something's building that's very sinister like. So, uh, what are you going to do now at your home? I, I find it interesting the way David Lynch shoots his films, it almost feels like a. Like a um, like a crime noir or something, you know, like a noir film. Just the way he presents no certain clues there. or builds a certain atmosphere, it reminds me very much like a noir. I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm here, aren't I? Hey, he is nice looking. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey man, see what happens when you have a car. Next thing you know, you're nice looking because you got gas and mileage. No one will suspect us because no one would think two people like us would be crazy enough to do something like this. This is how peer pressure works. Don't do it. <laughs> what he's doing is most definitely weird and highly illegal. <laughs> Just because he has a car doesn't mean he can get away with everything. Just say no. <laughs> No matter how much gas he has. Mm. You guys hear that sound design? Some good sound design right there. That sound design basically indicates how much of a crap <laughs> this place is. How creepy it is. It's only the back, man. Dang, all right. Well, that was that was that was definitely different. <laughs> that was awkward and interesting. My man is doing some like some spy kids maneuver here. The record is kept straight though. I love Mike. What do you want me to do? Oh man, you are getting involved in some into some bad stuff right here. You better stop. <laughs> On our way up. Okay. I don't know if you're a detective or a pervert. <laughs> Damn, yo, the moves are being made tonight. What the heck, like? So much is about to happen right now. And I will say, some of the shots here are very reminiscent of a horror film. Like, the lighting and everything is just so good. So good at building that anticipation. No! No! Oh my god, are you kidding me, bro? Why did you have to go to the bathroom? What is wrong with you? No, dude. Bro, why? <laughs> why did you have to drink a Heineken out of all the beers anyway? God damn, dude. Oh, this is bad. This is the worst thing that could happen right now, and it's actually happening. Oh, this is really bad. Get undressed. I 
want to see you. Look, I'm sorry, just let me leave. No way! I want to see you get undressed! Okay. <laughs> Alright. If it means saving my life, then sure, I'll get undressed. It's a, it's a, it's a weird turn of events, but... My God. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Um, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. This movie continues to blow me away in expectations. <laughs> Hello, baby. Shut up. It's daddy, you shithead. Where's my bourbon? God damn, dude. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What what is happening? Oh my god. Mommy. <laughs> yep, this is this is weird. This is this is some weird ish that's going on right now. What on earth? Did you fuck up? I gotta commend the actors. I will say that. I definitely gotta commend the actors. This is a, a, a gnarly scene right here. What the heck? <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> this dude is just naked in the closet witnessing all of this like... Hey, do you want to do you want to talk about it? <laughs> that was what was that was a very interesting scene. I um I was not expecting any of this to happen. I'll definitely give the film credit for that. I was not expecting any of that. Wow. Talk about <laughs> Talk about an editing sequence. Man. This has definitely haunted my boy. Mm. Frank has done this to force Dorothy to do things for him. I think she wants to die. Yep. Hey, were you expecting that? Were you expecting all of that? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to tell her anything else that had happened? Because a lot happened. Another thing I would love to say about this is that I love the colors in this film that's being showcased right now. <laughs> like, they are just really well done. I really like how they're being shown. I'm getting, like, a lot of um, drive vibes from it in a weird way. Not as gritty, but the lighting represents that. And I wonder what this guy's motive is, you know? Like, other than the fact that he's just curious, I wonder why he's doing this, you know? Like, did he always want to be a detective or something? Like, I, I'm just not sure why he wants to put himself in harm's way like this. Keep going. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, God, that's awkward. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus. Yo, this dude got gadgets, man. Yo, what? He did all of this with no tents on his car, too? Like, how? It helps me. <laughs> this movie is just it's just throwing me in a loop that I just don't recognize you sure? hey hello baby oh this is this is not good oh god 
Come on, we're gonna go for a joyride. Joyride. Well, that sucks. <laughs> My man has found himself in a predicament that is not looking good. You get enough beer for Ben, too. What kind of beer do you like? Heineken. Heineken? Fuck that shit! <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, he really hates Heineken. I mean, it's not it's not my favorite beer, but I, I wouldn't kill a brother over it, you know? It seems like Heineken has really gotten him into a lot of trouble, though. <laughs> Where's the glasses? That beer's gonna get warm. <laughs> Homie is faded. He is gone. He is gone. Oh my god. There's so much drugs he is on. I feel better. <laughs> Jesus, man. Dude, yo, these people are wild. These are some characters, man. I feel like everyone is just at a 10 right now. A candy-colored clown they call the Sandman. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> I feel like I'm, I've been on like a fever dream for the past hour. What? What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> and the weird thing is, I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> This dude is, this dude, man, like, I cannot, I cannot pinpoint him, because he has, like, a pattern, you know, he always says it's dark, there would be these moments where he's, like, in it, but then he's, like, not, <laughs> like, it's just really, th this film is very interesting, I will say that, like, the characters within it are just extremely interesting. You're like me. Hmm. Oh, look at this. What does what does that mean? What does he mean by that? What the heck does he mean by that? Because you guys are very different from one another, but I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this dude punched him in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> You understand, fuck? I'll send you straight to hell, fucker! God, dude. Yo, what? This is some intense... Some intense-ish right here. It's like a Heineken ad comes up. <laughs> Heineken, drink yours today. It's like, that's a terrible experience. <laughs> that's really effed up. He, he he had a terrible night, man. He had a very bad night. My thing is, what is he going to do now? Oh, but sometimes it's good to talk things over, Jeffrey. Uh, for instance, they say that many marriages are saved by people. I love you, but you're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, listen, like, I love you, but like, no, we are not going to talk about it. Just a minute, Tom. Easy does it, Jeffrey. Maybe. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, Jeffrey, you got to be smooth, man. You got to be cool with it. Calm yourself. Man, I really feel sad for that football player, dude. <laughs> That's all I can think about. It's like, damn. He seemed like a like a cool dude too. Like, didn't seem like an a whore or anything. She just upped and cheated on him. <laughs> Jesus. All because homie has a car, and he's the main character in this movie. Can't trust anybody out here. Oh my 
Okay. Never mind. Maybe this guy might actually be an a-hole. Damn. Okay, I can't really put on screen what just happened, but basically Dorothy just showed up naked with a bunch of bruises all over her. Yeah, it's me. Jeffrey. Ugh. Jeffrey. Oh, God, man. What is this film? <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> what What journey have I been placed upon, like, is what I'm trying to ask myself right now. Hold me, oh God. My love. Uh! Oh God, dude, the cringe is immense. Oh my goodness. Can you stop saying that? Can you stop saying that? You're not making it any better, Dorothy. Stop saying that. <laughs> That's the weirdest way you could put you could you could possibly say. And you're saying it as if it's like your A's A B's and C's. Like, can you stop? What the heck what? Um, what? What, what happened here? What, what on earth happened here? Like, I'm getting curveballed at every corner. Oh God, dude, dude, that was actually, that actually kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh God, dude, you better figure something out. What happened here, by the way? Like, I'm I'm still trying to figure out what on earth had happened. Like, this is a crazy battleground right now. Woo! Blew him to next week. Blasted him. It's all over, Jeffrey. Yo, <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> Jeffy's kind of an, an OG, dude. Like, this dude blew his brains out. That is gruesome as all hell, man. This all came from an ear. <laughs> what? What? Hey, at least she got her kid back. That's good to know. That is good to know. All right, everybody. We just got done wrapping up Blue Velvet. I think there's one word to describe this film. <laughs> And, and that is strange. This film is extremely strange, which is kind of in a way fitting because the whole existential theme of it is what a strange world we live in, you know? All of that was basically derived from an ear being found on just in the middle of nowhere. And it led us down this crazy journey that I didn't even know it was possible <laughs> every turn i took within this film was just another surprise to let me know hey james um yeah you're watching a strange one <laughs> and uh you know what that's okay i perfect i'm perfectly okay with that it was a little strange for me but you know it was i think there was like a lot of qualities to it that were well done especially with the lighting the noir feel. I mean, there was some parts where I was genuinely kind of like terrified <laughs> about what was happening. And I think that all goes to the beautiful filmmaking that David, uh, David Lynch is able to kind of 
bring forth. And I think that is pretty awesome, no matter how strange his films are. And I think there's just something there that kind of keeps me attentive and that kind of wants me to unravel this mysterious box, even though I don't know what the heck is going on. But I still want to, you know, my curiosity still gets the best of me, which in a weird way, I guess, kind of relates to the main character, Jeffrey. So, yeah, you guys tell me your first thoughts on this one, because I know this one is definitely um, <laughs> this was a strange one, but I enjoyed it uh, on my first take. But guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this as well. Let me know in the comments below. But like always, guys, I appreciate you guys. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat